Hello everyone. Today we are going to explore a seemingly simple question that holds the power to change lives. Can we train our brains to earn more money? This question not only sparks curiosity, but also touches upon a deep desire within each of us, the desire for success, financial freedom, and remarkable personal growth. The answer is yes, and it's not just a simple affirmation. I am living proof of it. I have gone through the process of training my brain, shifting my mindset, and taking action. And because of that, I've achieved successes I once thought were impossible. It's our mindset that determines how we face challenges, seize opportunities, and build the life we desire. I didn't start out with a luxurious life or a lot of money. In fact, I began with very modest circumstances. There were times when I didn't even think about becoming wealthy. My only hope was to not live in financial struggle, to not worry daily about bills, expenses, or my family's future. That's where my journey began with a simple desire to escape everyday financial difficulties. In today's speech, I will share with you the methods that helped me transition from merely making enough to get by to doubling, even multiplying my income. These methods are not just abstract theories, but powerful tools you can immediately apply in your daily life. These methods include affirmation, affirm yourself and your goals every day, visualization, clearly visualize your goals and feel the success even before it arrives, continuous improvement, constantly improve yourself each day, little by little. These methods have helped me realize my financial goals, not just at a basic level, but far beyond my expectations. I want to emphasize that mindset is the key to unlocking success. It's not about luck, not about in talent, it's the difference in how we think. If you're ready to change how you think, you'll see a completely different result in your life. What I want to tell you today is that you have complete control over your financial destiny, and it all starts with how you train your brain to think about money, goals, and your own worth. So are you ready to make a change? Do you dare to set specific financial goals for your life? Join me on this journey as we explore how we can double our income in half the time and build the life you truly desire. Developing a money-making mindset is a process that doesn't stop at setting specific goals. It requires continuous self-improvement every day. One highly effective method for achieving this is Kaizen, a Japanese concept meaning continuous improvement. This is a simple yet extremely powerful principle improving by just 1% each day. If you persist with these small improvements daily, over time you will see significant changes. To better understand the power of Kaizen, imagine improving just 1% each day in your skills, knowledge, or work processes. At first glance, 1% may seem too small to make any noticeable difference. But the truth is, if you continuously improve each day, by the end of a year, your total improvement will amount to 26%. This means that after a year, you'll be working 26% more effectively, creatively, and intelligently than when you started. I have a story to illustrate the power of daily incremental improvement. A friend of mine, Chris, struggled greatly in his business. He tried making money by selling products online, but after years of effort, his income remained stagnant. At that point, I suggested he apply the principle of Kaizen. He didn't need to change his entire working process immediately, but rather focus on small daily improvements. But Chris began spending 10 minutes each morning reviewing his business strategies, identifying one small thing he could improve right away, whether it was optimizing his shipping process, adjusting his advertising approach, or upgrading customer service. The miraculous part is that after seven years, Chris multiplied his income tenfold, going from a few thousand dollars per month to hundreds of thousands of dollars per year. What changed? It wasn't a major breakthrough or sudden shift, but the continuous small improvements every day that led him to remarkable progress. Looking back, when discussing the development of a money-making mindset, no one succeeds simply by thinking big without taking small, valuable steps. You may have large financial goals, but if you don't improve how you work, manage time, or use resources each day, you will never achieve those goals. Developing a money-making mindset requires you to constantly ask, what can I do today that's better than yesterday? The power of small, consistent improvements applies not only to business, but to all areas of life. You think about the little things you can improve in your personal life, from taking care of your health to building a reading habit or improving your communication skills. All of these improvements, when sustained daily, will create a significant breakthrough in the future. Remember, any change, no matter how small, has a positive impact on your money-making mindset. If today you learn something new about investing the financial markets or how to manage a business more effectively, you're improving yourself. If you continuously cultivate this mindset, you will gradually change how you perceive money and how you approach financial opportunities in the future. One thing I always emphasize when talking about continuous improvement is the importance of having a long-term vision. When you start making small changes every day, you might not see immediate results, but if you keep improving every day, you will see a significant difference over the long term. This positive improvement will not only help increase your income, but will also improve your quality of life. 
Imagine that each day you save an extra dollar or invest an additional 1% of your income in income generating assets. After a few months, that small amount won't seem so small anymore, but will become the foundation for wealth and sustainable finances. This is exactly how wealthy people build their fortunes, not by making money quickly overnight, but through persistent, continuous improvement over many years. When it comes to developing a money-making mindset, the key is not just thinking big, but acting small every day to achieve great things. Each small improvement adds up and brings you closer to your financial goals. Anyone can apply this principle. It doesn't require any special conditions or skills. The only thing you need is patience and discipline to maintain these daily improvements, even when you don't see immediate results. So how do you get started? Ask yourself each morning, what can I do today to improve by 1%? It could be an improvement in how you work, how you manage your time, or how you invest your money. What's important is that you consistently set improvement goals and never become complacent with what you've already achieved. If you maintain this continuous improvement over a long period, you will achieve accomplishments you never thought possible. One of the core factors for achieving success in wealth is the ability to manage time and focus on activities that generate the highest value. Time is the most valuable resource that everyone has in limited supply. No one can buy more time, but the key is that we can manage and use our time wisely to increase the value we create. The mindset of valuing time is something that all successful people understand well. Successful individuals don't calculate their income by the year, they consider their income by the hour. This means that if your goal is to earn $200,000 a year, you need to focus on activities that bring you at least $100 per hour. This way you won't waste time on low value activities. Instead of trying to do everything, learn to concentrate on tasks that can deliver the greatest results in the shortest amount of time. The rule of three is a simple but very effective principle for enhancing the value you create. You only need to identify the three most important tasks of the day, the tasks that can generate 90% of your income, or the most significant results. These are the tasks that you need to focus on and complete with full attention, no matter how many minor distractions arise. If you complete these three tasks each day, you will see a substantial difference in your income and work efficiency. The important question you should ask yourself each morning is, if I could only do one thing today, what would have the greatest impact on my work and life? A crucial part of time management is utilizing your golden hour, the first hour of each day when your mind is at its most alert, energized, and creative, Many successful people use this time to read, learn, or plan their day. Take advantage of this time to gain new knowledge, improve your skills, or analyze business strategies. Reading one book a week can help you acquire knowledge and experience that would take years to gain on your own. These small changes can have a significant impact on how you work and how you make money. Time management isn't just about how you use your time during the day, but also how you optimize your energy. Understand that you don't always have the same level of energy and focus throughout the day. There are times when you feel full of energy and times when your productivity declines. Knowing when you are most effective will allow you to allocate those periods to your most important tasks. When you focus on high value tasks during your peak energy hours, you will notice a big change in your work efficiency. Another useful method for managing time and energy is the 80-20 rule, also known as the Pareto Principle. According to this principle, 20% of your activities will generate 80% of the results. This means that instead of trying to do everything, you only need to focus on the 20% of activities that have the greatest impact. For example, in a business, 20% of customers may generate 80% of revenue, and similarly, 20% of products may produce 80% of the profit. For individuals, 20% of the work you do will bring 80% of your income. So focus on identifying and optimizing these 20% of activities to optimize your work efficiency. One important habit you need to develop is daily planning and evaluation. Each morning before starting work, Take time to write down the three most important tasks you need to complete for the day. This will help you stay focused and not lose direction. At the end of each day, spend 10 minutes reviewing what you've accomplished, what's still missing, and what you need to improve for the next day. This daily self-assessment will help you continually adjust your work methods and maintain high efficiency. In fact, a very simple story that illustrates the power of time management and value optimization is the story of Elon Musk. Musk is known for his ability to work continuously and effectively while leading both SpaceX and Tesla. Elon Musk's secret lies in breaking down his work time by the minute and focusing only on high-value tasks. He always optimizes his time by minimizing unnecessary activities and concentrating intensely on what yields the greatest results. This is the key to his success in multiple fields simultaneously. An essential part of effective time management and value creation is learning how to delegate tasks. Many people get stuck trying to do everything themselves because they believe no one can do it better than they can. However, this not only consumes a lot of time but also reduces productivity. Learn to trust others and delegate tasks that don't require your direct involvement. 
This way you can focus on the tasks that generate the most value while others handle the smaller tasks. When discussing efficient work mindsets, the most important factor is strategic thinking. You need to know how to not just work hard but work smart. The difference between someone who works hard and someone who works smart lies in the ability to plan strategically, knowing how to use time, energy, and resources wisely. Working hard doesn't necessarily lead to success, but working strategically, focusing on high-value tasks, will bring you the success you desire. Habits can be seen as the small building blocks that form the foundation for long-term success. Successful people understand that building and maintaining positive habits not only helps them work more efficiently, but also leads to significant changes in both their personal lives and careers. Everything you do daily stems from small habits, and when these habits are repeated over time, they bring about substantial results. One of the most important habits you can develop is the habit of taking action. When you have a new idea, instead of letting it pass or just thinking about it, take immediate action. By turning ideas into specific actions, you will not only feel excited, but also create momentum for personal growth. When you act immediately, you send a strong message to yourself that you are someone who dares to think and dares to do. This not only boosts your confidence, but also creates continuous motivation so you don't stop. A clear example of the habit of action is the case of Richard Branson, founder of the Virgin Group. He is well known for his do-it-now mindset. Branson doesn't just think about business ideas. As soon as he comes up with a new idea, he immediately puts it into practice. This is why he has built a business empire with over 400 companies in various sectors. His habit of taking action not only helps him seize opportunities quickly, but also minimizes the time wasted on merely thinking without doing anything. The next habit to develop is creative thinking. Many people think that creativity is reserved for artists or scientists, but the reality is that anyone can develop a creative mindset. Creativity is not just about coming up with new ideas, but also about the ability to see solutions to problems from a different perspective, thinking outside of conventional frameworks. When you face a problem, instead of asking, why did this happen, focus on the question, how can I solve this problem? The how question opens up a range of possibilities and solutions that you may not have thought of before. In the business world, creativity can lead to major breakthroughs. Think of Elon Musk with his vision and ability to solve complex problems creatively. When faced with the issue of expensive rocket production at SpaceX, Musk didn't simply accept reality, but sought to optimize costs by manufacturing parts in-house and reusing rockets. This creative mindset has not only helped SpaceX survive, but also become one of the leading aerospace companies in the world. Successful individuals like Musk are always seeking creative solutions, constantly challenging what is possible and finding ways to work more efficiently to encourage creative thinking. You need to constantly train your brain. A simple method is to set aside time each day to think. You might think this sounds simple, but in reality, most of us don't spend enough time thinking. Set aside at least 15 minutes each day to sit down, free from distractions, and think about the problems you're facing, your goals, and the improvements you can make. You'll be surprised at how many solutions and new ideas emerge during these moments. Another effective way to cultivate creative thinking is by developing the habit of reading. Successful people all share the habit of reading, not just to acquire knowledge, but also to expand their thinking and problem-solving abilities. Reading helps you learn from others from their successes and failures and apply those lessons to your own life and work. If you don't yet have the habit of reading, start today. Choose books on thinking, success, and personal development. This will not only help you think more creatively, but also bring positive changes to how you approach life and work. Finally, one of the most important factors for success in maintaining positive and creative habits is perseverance. You will encounter failures that is inevitable. But what matters is that you persevere through those challenges. Successful people are not those who never fail, but those who know how to stand up after every fall. Remember, success doesn't come from big leaps, but from small, steady steps every day. Each small habit you build today will accumulate into significant results in the future. When you combine positive habits with creative thinking, you will find that you can overcome any obstacle and keep moving forward. The habit of immediate action, the how mindset, creativity and problem solving, and perseverance in overcoming challenges will be the keys to bringing you closer to your goals. Small changes each day will lead to great results over the years. If you start cultivating these positive habits today, not only will your career improve, but your personal life will also be significantly enhanced. Remember, success doesn't come overnight, but by building positive habits and maintaining perseverance, you will find yourself achieving things you once thought impossible. To achieve breakthrough progress in life and work, identifying and leveraging your X factor is essential. The X factor is the most important factor, the core strength that allows you to make a difference and drive extraordinary results in business as well as in life. Everyone has an X factor. It could be a unique skill, a special talent, or an ability that only you can excel at. Recognizing and fully utilizing this X factor will be the key to increasing your income and achieving sustainable success. First, you need to clearly identify the most important factor that you can capitalize on in your life and work. 
Everyone has their own strengths, but sometimes we don't realize it until we analyze deeply. To discover your X factor, you need to ask yourself, what is my greatest asset? Or what activity do I perform that generates the most value? This could be excellent communication skills, the ability to connect with people, or the smart management of finances. You must uncover that element to use it as a springboard for further progress. A prime example of identifying the X factor can be seen in successful entrepreneurs. Steve Jobs of Apple realized that his greatest talent wasn't just in product design, but in his ability to convey a strong vision and build a team to execute those ideas. Jobs understood that he wasn't the best technical expert, but he knew how to create a difference through leadership and inspiration, helping Apple become one of the most innovative and valuable tech companies in the world. This demonstrates that identifying the X factor doesn't always relate to technical skills, but could be leadership ability, motivational power, or breakthrough thinking. To measure and optimize your X factor, you must focus on activities that generate the highest value. In business, the 80-20 rule, Pareto principle, is a useful tool. According to this principle, 20% of your activities produce 80% of your results. Your task is to identify the most important 20% in your work or daily life and concentrate fully on them. This means eliminating or minimizing activities that don't bring high value in dedicating time to what truly matters and has the most significant impact on your goals. For example, if you're an entrepreneur, the most important 20% of your tasks might be developing new products, connecting with major clients, or seeking strategic partnerships. These activities will generate most of the revenue and profits for your business. If you focus entirely on these, you will find that your business can grow far more robustly than if you spend too much time on less important tasks like checking emails or handling minor issues. Another lesson about the X factor can be drawn from the story of a nuclear plant. In industries like nuclear energy, where precision is critical, a small adjustment at a key point can make a huge difference in performance. Similarly, in your work, focusing on the right X factor can significantly improve efficiency and results. For example, if you're a salesperson, identifying and optimizing the best way to approach potential clients could double your number of deals without increasing your work hours. It all comes from focusing on the right area and optimizing what's most important. Finding your X factor not only helps you improve short-term results, but also opens up greater opportunities for the future. The key is to always maintain awareness and strategic thinking to not only identify, but also maximize your strengths. Each time you achieve a small success, analyze what helped you succeed and continue investing in those elements. This is how you can maintain continuous and sustainable growth in your career. Once you've identified your X factor, you need to measure and evaluate your results. This means regularly checking whether what you're doing is producing the expected outcomes. If you're doing something that isn't yielding high results, you need to change it immediately. Learn to optimize every step to boost performance and make necessary adjustments. One effective tool to help you track and assess results is to use a weekly or monthly checklist. By tracking key activities, evaluating effectiveness, and comparing them to set goals, you can easily identify areas for improvement. Recognizing and leveraging your X factor will help you create significant breakthroughs in your career and life. It not only helps you optimize your time, abilities, and resources, but also enables you to generate more value from what you already have. Start by identifying your most important factor, focus fully on it, and use principles like 80-20 to optimize activities that deliver the highest value. When you know what you need to do and utilize your strengths effectively, nothing can stop you from achieving success and doubling your income in a short time. In the journey to building success, it's not just talent or knowledge that plays a decisive role, but also an incredibly important aspect, relationships and confidence. You cannot achieve success in isolation, as success is the culmination of many factors and relationships act as the launch pad that propels you further. Confidence is the foundation that allows you to fully seize the opportunities those relationships provide. Confidence is something everyone needs to build because it directly affects how you interact with others and how you progress in your work. Many people succeed, not necessarily because they are more skilled than others, but because they have enough confidence to believe in themselves, embrace challenges, and not fear failure. One way to boost confidence is by using the mantra, I like myself. This phrase may sound simple, but when repeated, it has a powerful positive impact on your mind, helping strengthen your belief in your self-worth and encouraging you to move forward regardless of the difficulties you may face. The truth is, how you feel about yourself will directly influence how others perceive and treat you. When you feel confident and like yourself, people will be drawn to that energy. They will feel safe and trust you in working together. Confidence is not something innate. It comes from thorough preparation, understanding your capabilities, and continually improving. When you are confident, you can present yourself easily in any situation, from important business meetings to contract negotiations. In addition to confidence, relationships are an indispensable factor that helps you go further. 
One of the important principles in building relationships is to treat everyone as if they were a million dollar client. This means you should always respect, listen to, and genuinely care about others. In business relationships, profits don't always come from large transactions, but often from quality connections people who are always willing to help you when needed. Good relationships don't form naturally, they require the investment of time and effort. This applies not only to business relationships, but also to personal ones. If you treat people with sincerity, honesty, and care, they will remember you and will be more willing to open doors of opportunity for you. Remember, you never know who might be able to help you in the future, so never underestimate anyone. A famous story that illustrates the power of relationships is that of Richard Branson, founder of the Virgin Group. Branson built an entire empire by establishing deep connections with influential people. He understood that everyone he met had the potential to become a business partner or support him on his path to growth. His success came not just from business acumen, but also from his ability to build and maintain relationships with important individuals in his life. Furthermore, to succeed, you need to be selective about relationships and focus on those that truly add value. This doesn't mean only befriending the wealthy or successful, but connecting with people who have a positive mindset, those who motivate and encourage you to grow. Stay away from negative individuals who constantly drag you down as they can sap your motivation and confidence. Seek out relationships that help you thrive, people you're willing to learn from and share knowledge with. The power of relationships also lies in the ability to learn from those who are more successful than you. Sometimes just one piece of advice or a new perspective from someone with experience can completely change the way you view life and your career. Always keep an open mind and be ready to receive guidance from those who have walked the path before you because they've already faced the challenges you may be encountering. Building and maintaining both confidence and quality relationships isn't easy, but it's essential for achieving significant success in life. Every day, make an effort to strengthen your confidence by repeating positive affirmations, continuously learning, and preparing thoroughly for every situation. At the same time, always treat others with respect and sincerity. You will find that when you are confident and have strong relationships, opportunities will come naturally. You will not only succeed, but also find fulfillment in life. Start today by reflecting on the relationships around you and asking yourself, have I invested enough in the important relationships? Have I built trust and respect with the people I want to connect with? If the answer is no, now is the time to start building. Remember, relationships and confidence are the two pillars that will guide you on your path to success. From the beginning of this speech until now, I've shared with you the essential elements that help build a successful and prosperous life. We've talked about the power of mindset and how changing the way you think can transform your entire life. You can choose to adopt a wealthy mindset or accept the mindset of poverty, where self-imposed limitations, stagnation, and fear are ever-present. What you need to remember is that having a clear goal and the way you act starting today will determine the path you take. Success doesn't come from giant leaps, but from small, consistent, and continuous actions. Don't let fear or a lack of confidence hold you back. Each step you take, no matter how small, brings you closer to your goal. I'd like to recap the key points we've discussed. First, you must have a specific financial goal and use methods like affirmations to reinforce that goal in your mind. This will help you maintain motivation and focus. Additionally, you need to develop the habit of continuously improving yourself without ever stopping. Remember, every passing day brings an opportunity for you to progress a little further, and if you maintain this improvement, big results will come. We've also discussed the importance of time. Your time is your most valuable asset. Don't waste it on things that don't provide real value. Learn to focus on the tasks that produce the biggest results, just like successful leaders do. Time cannot be reversed, but you can optimize how you use it to achieve what you desire. Moreover, we emphasize the importance of building relationships and confidence. You cannot succeed alone. Value the quality relationships you have and learn how to build trust with those around you. The confidence is the key to unlocking many doors of opportunity, but trust doesn't come naturally. You must nurture day by day through action and preparation for each situation in life. So, take action today. I urge you to start with small but practical steps. Sit down and write out the specific financial goal you want to achieve in the next year. Then create a plan for each step that will turn that goal into reality. Begin applying the positive habits we've discussed and gradually build improvement each day. You may feel that this journey is too big and difficult, but remember that every small step brings progress. Success doesn't happen overnight. It is the result of persistent and continuous effort. Keep in mind, nothing changes until you start changing yourself. You don't need to get everything perfect right away, but you do need to start. Take action right now, not tomorrow, not next week. Every day you delay is a day lost in getting closer to success. Don't wait for circumstances to change. Take control and create the change yourself. Believe that you have the power to do it. As I close this speech, I want to thank you for listening and sharing. Remember, wealth is not just about money, it's about how you take control of your life.
Continue walking the path of personal and financial growth and don't stop until you achieve what you desire. The world is waiting for you and all you need to do is take action.